Okay, so my streaming reports are once again full of female Tarkov streamers. Honey XO, this one's name is. I've never watched her content before. Kind of reminds me of the whole Jinji thing. She gets a lot of flack for cheating. But uh, we'll check out the footage and we'll check out the linked clips. One's in abandoned marked room. Okay. I mean, I'm hearing everything she's reacting to. Got a moral, I think. Let's see I the comments. Good one. Oh, wow. <laughs> One's in abandoned marked room. It looks like Jinji's comment section. Wow, these dudes are ruthless. 100% using radar. I mean, it's crazy that people can be 100% just off a YouTube short like this. You know, they have to be trolled, surely. Looks like a suddenly things. toast comment Top section. Three. I mean, these guys yeah. seem really sure. You know, maybe a, I'm gonna have to watch. I'm gonna have to watch a little bit more. I think because you can't really just watch one clip like this and just say 100% someone's cheating. We'll take a look. What we want to look at is awareness, the way they move around and how aware they are of their surroundings, whether they're clearing positions players usually are, just how aware they are around the map. They're reacting to things that we're hearing, stuff like that. Positioning, often you'll find when someone's using radar or ESP, they'll conveniently always be positioned somewhere safe constantly or know the right times to react, know the right times to position themselves in a way to spot someone first, all that kind of stuff. The very last thing is going to be consistency. It's really easy to watch one short 60 second clip and assume that someone's using radar or ESP. And But what you want to look for or what I look for when I, I do these kind of videos is, are these people consistently achieving this constantly, non-stop over long periods of times? And that's what you want to look for. And that's a really big tell if someone is using radar or ESP. You know, the average player gets lucky. The average player occasionally makes a good play, but the reality is you also make mistakes. Everyone does, and that's what you want to look for is if you think someone's cheating, go to their stream, watch them play. Are they making mistakes? Are they getting caught off guard? Are they getting shot in the back? Are they getting caught out in bad positions? And that's what you want to look for. It's I remember watching two of Suddenly Toast streams and I just, I had to jot down just the positioning, the awareness and the consistency was insane. Over two streams, it was just not human. Someone just consistently can't get it right on the level that he could and just never be wrong. So we're gonna have a look. I'm gonna go over a couple of streams. I always like to do my due diligence when I um, investigate people like this. So I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna watch like a good two streams worth of raids and we'll check it out. I kind of regret not having a scope. Actually, I think it's kind of fucked. There was fucking two! Son of a bitch. Well, ESP or radar definitely would have helped her there. I think. Am I solo queuing? Mm hmm. I don't know. Some people make some of those skins sound like it's like actual, like actually a good investment. I want to know like all the odds, odds though. Like what are the odds that you can get? What are the odds that you get like an actual insane skin? Really weird. She just sat there and like wiggled through the wall, stared at the wall and just started wiggling. It was really weird. You definitely 
you hear the things she reacts to though like i know with watching other people they like hear stuff other people that end up being cheating they're like they're always saying oh i heard something or i saw something that you just you never see or hear but i mean she's always reacting to things that you're hearing and actually seeing you know Really scary spot to be pre-medding out in the open like this. This spot is scary as hell. Was that a boss or a boy? Another complete random just stare at the wall and wiggle moment. Probably nothing, I don't know. It, it just looks a little bit weird though. I just gotta look at the odds of boxes, I guess. Kind of regret this gun. What's the most dead server? I don't think there is one. Oh, 
kill the goons. I can't tell if that's a player shooting me. Really lucky time to jump down right as that nade got thrown. Really lucky. She had loot up there too from the guy that she just killed. Here, that she just left there. Broke her legs to jump down to. Literally right as that grenade got thrown. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty much dead. Yeah. Fuck. <coughs> that was kind of a shit raid. Nine mil is not the move. Yeah, I don't know. It seems, it seems, you know, it's, she makes just as many mistakes as, you know, the times where she gets it right or, you know, gets lucky and moves at the right time or, you know, she seems to get caught out in bad positions and make mistakes just as much as she gets it right. So it's like, it's not like it's, she's continuously, you know, just happening to be in the right place or continuously avoiding danger repetitively. My fault. You're good. I'm excited. Got you. Thank you. Oh my god, I missed. Oh my god, he has a thermal, of course. Oh god, she's doing the um, viewer kits from people in her stream. See, uh, I've touched on this heaps on my channel. A lot of people don't understand and just assume that the only reason BSG cracks down on it and doesn't allow it is just because they're assholes and they're just trying to be the fun police. And a lot of people just don't understand that if an account is constantly receiving loot or dropping loot, it's actually a method they use to manually review people that are cheating because a lot of cheaters will have hundreds of millions of dollars worth of stuff in their stash and what they'll often do is they'll palm lots of loot off to other players and assist other players some so a lot of times for money too to try and make some money back on their cheats just the whole viewer kit stuff occasionally doing it or occasionally dropping your friend's gear i'll link a video at the top of the screen if you want to know more about it it's okay to occasionally do, but constantly getting loot drop from your viewers is just a bad idea. It will get your account manually reviewed by BSG and you can get temporarily banned for it. I actually interviewed a cheater uh, a while ago. He cheated for an entire wipe. The reason he actually got caught and banned after doing everything right, keeping his KD low, the reason he got caught and banned was because his account got manually reviewed and he was dropping too much loot to people. It's a method to detect cheaters. It's not BSG just being assholes. That's, it's just not a good idea. It's okay here and there. It's okay to pick up your mate's gear if they die, but consistently doing it on stream, it, it's just a bad idea. Like you're, it's really risky. It, yeah. And we're dead. Like from where? I have never tanked. And yeah, once again, caught out in a bad position. No idea where she's getting shot from. And just completely clueless. This is nothing like someone's gameplay who has radar or, or ESP, like everyone in our comments are saying. This is, you know, there's, there's plenty of times where repeatedly where she's just a fish out of water, gets shot in the back, completely caught out in the open, 
no idea where she's getting shot from. It doesn't really seem like the gameplay of someone that's cheating. Oh my god. I just got sniped from train. Once again, caught out, bad position, got in the back or from the side. Um, yeah, no idea, no, no knowledge the person was there, had it back to them. If you were using walls or, or radar, it would be for moments like that. Uh, you know, like for example, for someone using walls or radar, like suddenly toast, they, they don't put themselves in positions like that. And if they do end up in a position like that, they'll quickly correct it and they'll quickly move. And it's just not the case with her. And we're dead. Oh my god. So yeah, I, I looked over a couple of streams. I probably watched in total around 20 raids and there's just there's some little weird moments here or there or there's some times where you know she'll just get really lucky or just happen to be in the right place at the right time but she makes mistakes just as much she it gets shot in the back just as much if not more she's caught in bad positions just as much people just seem to watch these YouTube shorts and it's a 60 second clip okay and she probably posts one every two or three days or whatever and you need to realize it's just literally 60 seconds taken from out of 10 hours of gameplay and then they assume that that person's walling or or has a radar and but if you actually go and and, and watch these people play for extended periods of time like 20 plus raids you see that it's it's just a small segment of an entire a ton of gameplay that's not how they're continuously playing non-stop all day every day i don't know why these female streamers just get given such a hard time they get absolutely roasted for cheating and i've noticed on my channel even my viewer base for my tarkov content is like 99 percent male viewers it's not really a female space. Uh, this chick, for example, and that Gingy just get absolutely roasted for cheating. And if you actually watch them play, it's it's completely different gameplay to someone who's using walls or radar. Or It's my opinion that at the moment, currently now, the last couple of weeks of her gameplay, I think she's legit. That doesn't mean she's never cheated or... You know, she didn't cheat six months ago or 12 months ago. I can only go off what I'm seeing now. And what I'm seeing now, it's, I don't think she's cheating. That doesn't mean she never has, you know, maybe earlier on in her career, but she holds 300 concurrent viewers per stream. This would be like her full-time income. She would be insane to just be sitting there walling and or have a radar open on a second monitor. Cause you know, he's basically fill out a resume and, and, look for another job if you get caught like it would just be insanity to do it. it from what i found it's more so just smaller streamers or people just doing this as a hobby or part-time that don't really have anything to lose and those tend to be the people that do use radar and cheats and things like that on the side but it's more more likely that someone that is doing this full-time wouldn't be i'm not saying that there isn't people out there that are but it's just less likely because it, it's, you know, just think about how stressful it would be if at any minute you had to just, you know, look for a completely different career and a job elsewhere because you got caught with a radar on, on a third monitor. It's not likely. So currently now, I, I don't think she's cheating. And I've gone over this on, on my streams with Gingy. A lot of people think Gingy's cheating as well. When I ask them, like, what's your, what's your proof? What are you basing this off? 
it's it's literally all just one YouTube video or one YouTube short and their mind is made up for eternity. Like with Jinji, I, I spoke about this on stream and I'm going to post it in a video as well because I only ever spoke about it on stream and, and I still get asked about it all the time. But the clip where the guy approaches her and, and says, I, I can see that you're using the same cheat as me. I made that cheat. Cheats don't work like that, okay? If When you're cheating in raid, you can't see if someone else in raid is cheating and what cheat they're using or it's, that's not reality. It's, it's, I'm, I'm like 99% sure that guy was just a troll and he wasn't even cheating because she dumpstered him. <laughs> the dude wasn't even cheating and, and, and he said he was. He said, I'm using, I'm using the same cheat as you and I can see that you're using it. Now, another thing I'll also say is what kind of person codes a cheat to then sell to other people but then spends his spare time running around in Tarkov lobbies exposing their own customers? Like imagine his Discord or his community when his customers are posting saying, why are you exposing us? while we're in game and streaming like it, it doesn't make sense it's obviously that guy was just a troll and i know i've i've watched a few of her streams i've popped in here and there and, and she gets stream sniped relentlessly and i think that that was definitely what happened there the dude was just being a, a stream sniping troll and a lot of people just ran with it and think that that's reality and and you can actually do that with a cheat, but you, you really can't. If I show you what your overlay you're seeing with different cheats, you can't. It doesn't say using this cheat. You know, it just, it doesn't. It's not reality. And I can see the comments already. Ten IQ desperately simping for female streamers. Uh, <laughs> I can I can see the comments already. All right, I've got a partner. We uh, we make children. Okay, I'm not out here on the internet desperately seeking emotional connection with any female online. Okay, I'm happy in life. If someone's cheating, I'll say they're cheating. Okay, if they're not, then and and all the evidence points towards they're not, then I'm just going to call it what it is. And watching these two, it's easy just to watch a short or watch something someone says in a video and then just assume something. But if you actually do your research and you actually go and watch these people play, it's that's not reality. It's just not.